told Maria I'm something like Blake Exotic. The country edition. Country. Work them over, boy. All right, guys, we got that thing loaded. Let's get it out there. Bass head going down. We're going to get him baited up. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. Yeah, just like back in 2005, I feel like. That right there is what we're talking about. You can't even hardly see my hand. Can't even hardly see my hand. Good bluegill, guys. What kind of fish is it? Uh, I know. Tell me, Jesus. A bass. A bass, a bass. Wake up, fancy. Here's your one chance. Don't let us down. Y'all, we're headed out to the lake today. We're back in our area, guys. And uh, down here in South Georgia, we're looking for a good one. Stay tuned. Cross the Creek family. Good morning, Cross the Creek family. We are out here today going after a different kind of fish. Hopefully, we'll catch something big. We're going after a, a sag. Yeah, we're going to throw the net, put our poles out. Hopefully, we'll catch something good for y'all to see. Stay tuned. Well, we brought some bait out here. CJ and DJ are showing it to us and we're gonna get them cut up and we're gonna throw them out here hopefully we'll hook into something big with a big mouth some whiskers and hopefully he flops rigged up here we got us a brim on this one on the bottom of our stinger and we got us a brim head on that and hand size let's cast them out on this orange bobber here CJ says he's gonna watch it for me We'll see how things go. Got a good sized crowdad in here. Take some focus to get him up out of there. You see him right there? Let's see the catch. Let's see the catch. Got an old flipper. Got an old flipper. Come on, let me get him on tight. Let you know what I'm throwing down today. Here's the bait we're going to put on this top rig. It's a live crawfish. He's holding on to the wire right now, but he'll turn it loose in a minute. Let's throw him out there. There he is. Well, there he is. Got him turned it loose. Then. We're going to get him pitched out here. here fishing. I turned around. Kristen wandered off. Mommy, where did this Out there up? throwing deep. Mom, where did throwing deep. A goldfish and and he has black fins on his ear. Mm -hmm. And he has a goldfish can right I, here. Can I, see? Can, I mm -hmm. see? can I see? He's a black one. Black goldfish. See these? Are, you put them in the cooler. You have to get them in the cooler. This is a nice little area here, kid-friendly. We've got a couple bluegills, a couple different spots you can go to around here. Chris throwing his net, catching trees, catching trees. Tree top fishing. Tree top fishing today. Oh, it looks like he got his stomach taken out. Must have been a turtle, a snapping turtle. We know what that looks like. We know exactly what that looks like. And what you got there, DJ? This is this one is a bat. Mhm. Mm this one is another bass. Mm -hmm. This one is, this one is a bass. Actually, a, a brim. A brim. 
All right, well, let's throw them back. A little bat. Y'all, I threw that crawdad out that y'all saw Chris catch. Got a nice size bass here. What do you say we put him back? Well, first, let's name him. Let's name him. Ow. What do y'all want to name him? Let's see. That looks like the green machine. That's the green machine right there. Let's get him on back, y'all. Well, this is one of our last throws here in this spot. We're going to go to somewhere a little bit different. Y'all stay tuned. Thanks for watching. We're spotting. We're spotting. If anybody knows what it's like fishing with their husband, anybody knows he always swears he sees something and it usually be a tree we about to get down there after we miss. or a rock a big one what's wrong with old rock fish every now and then do they flap nah they sink, they sink. and do they got flippers He said he saw some carp over here off this point is what we're looking for. And guess what? We just happened to bring some corn today. Hey, we're going, we're going, to get going to get them. We got to get off in there. Y'all, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe to see our other videos. Yep. That's right. Y'all see that right? Nice shell cracker here. Cut them on an old red worm. What do you say we put them in the bucket? Across the creek. We're training the Danes today. Yeah. Yep. We got DJ and CJ as our trainers. And they're doing a great job. Great job, y'all. Great job. This is a big fish. And he has so fins. And this is cool to eat anything. What a fit. And big fish. He's a golden. We hooked into a good one. Uh, I say he's probably a little bit under a pound and a half foot fish, but we're gonna get him back. Hey guys, stay tuned. We're gonna keep pitching this net out along this bank here. CJ's out doing some training. He's working with Camille. And uh everything's going good so far. Looks like there's something in that water. Mira's out. She's enjoying herself. And uh, she says she's taking to this old cross the creek thing kind of well. The tumbo's in the distance behind, but they're making their way. But uh, we've been doing a little bit of catching today. Uh, so far, we've got a lot of turtle picks and that sort of thing. But uh, the boys look like they're playing Ring Around the Rosie. We don't know. But y'all stay tuned. We're going to give it about 10 15 more minutes. I want to thank y'all for watching. Had to cut this camera on. Just trying to get some good footage of these geese. But we all know. <laughs> when Chris got the net, what he'll do with it. They're going across the pond to get away from him. That's right. Tell them all about him. Tell them all about him. Right now we're trying to fish. And they're interrupting our fishing. You know, we can't eat no geese tonight. We won't fish. So, uh, whatever it takes. It's not luck on this side. I 
feel like I'm back in 2005. Come on. We're walking them out. And uh, we're going to check out this old building here. Let's kind of see what's in it. Looks like it might could have been an old slave house. Looks like somebody might have been an old slave house. And, uh, it is an old there's no telling what you're running to down here in South Georgia. No telling. Yeah. Looks like somebody's ready to just get in and go to picking. Could be that. Oh, it's a farming. It's a farming log cabin. Is what it is. It looks like maybe it was built in the 20s or 30s. It's got a slight lean off of it. And, uh, it's like we. Looks like it might. Looks like it might have been built by Richard Naismith himself. It's falling apart on the right side. It needs another floor solution on the right side to get it back up where it needs to be. But uh, it's still got good granite in it. And, uh, it's for sale. And in today's housing market, who knows? It might be 600,000 for this two bedroom. We don't know. We don't know. But I should take it. I put me some heat lamps in it. Run me a couple cages in it. I probably oh. raised the best Cornish cross ends you've seen in a place like this. Oh. But uh. We want to take the time to show y'all that. As you guys can tell, we've all obviously made it back home. No. Some of these guys, we're going to use as bait here. Some of the heads off of them and such. Like this good hand-sized shell cracker here. What we're going to do is, I'll use the head for bait. And uh, the rest of them, we won't let go to waste. Here's another good shell cracker. You guys saw them. Maria caught out there on that ledge there. We're gonna set him in as well. Set him off just fine. We put a uh, pretty good size shell crack in the catfish pond here. And we're walking over. We got us some bluegill hand size. Oh, Maria must have been out there wearing them out. I come back over and we got some hand size here. And we're gonna go ahead and get started on a uh, spawning situation on these bluegill here in our small koi pond. Y'all come with us. All right, guys. We're back here. And uh, we let down some of these gills, but I wanted to show them to you. Well, there went one. Dropped. Here's the other. Here's one gill here. I'm, I'd like to show them to y'all, but he won't be still. Good size. Cover up the whole hand there. Good size gill. We caught these guys deep. Here's another one, guys. Another one that I'd like to show you guys. Thick gill here. More than hand size. That's the second one I put in, guys. I guess they don't want to be shown. Here's the last one. But he's going to be a good size black gill. He's probably two hand size. Let's get him in. Let's get him in there. Right on down. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. After my frustration dealing with those guys, we got a chick out here. Then we've got another guinea egg. We've got hey, guys. We've been fishing all day. We're running behind here. Hannah's uh, carrying this in to feed the cat here. It's uh, we cut the head off at uh, off that shell cracker there, and uh, she's gonna hand feed Shelby guys because we're having to let Shelby in and out. I don't know if you saw the last video or not, but. She's going in heat on her, and we ain't trying to have a bunch of old kitty cats running through here. So, uh, y'all look at this bunny. But, uh, we're going to be feeding Shelby her fish and such that away. And, uh, you guys going to get to see us, uh, try to feed our little duckling here. So, stay tuned. Don't miss nothing. She getting after it. He's coming back out. He's coming back to show him to me. He said they can't catch. He said they can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread. That's his name, y'all. That's the gingerbread man right there. They can't catch him. They can't take his fish. He's just hard to beat. Hard to beat like old F-150 with 250,000 on it. Can't hardly beat him. Get it, get it, gingerbread. Take it down, gingerbread man. Y'all, them old game chickens say, I wish you'd set it down. I'd get me a bait of it. You know what those Muscovia do to it. Well, he dropped it. He picked it up. There's a fumble on the play. He's at the 50-yard line with it now. He's running that ball. Oh, he stepped on somebody. He trucked them. Derrick Henry. Tighten up. 
He running that thing like he's recruited by Nick Saban. Let's get him another one. For the next one, down, set, hut. No, nope, they got after. Up, oh, up. Oh. Look like old 316 run off with that one. There's a flag on the play. Up, oh, they're coming back. Looks like she came up with her, caught her. Girl, we told you last time you got out. That was gonna be your last time. Now next time you're gonna get a whooping. We got another guinea born again today. So that's two so far in the last two days. Let's see what else happens tomorrow. All right, guys. So uh, we're back out. I know you guys didn't think I was gonna let the evening end like that. No way. We got skunked out out there trying on our big fish today. So what we're gonna do is uh, that old shell cracker head we got in the freezer. We're gonna bait him up, and we may put a small crappie underneath him. And we're gonna pitch him out here under the orange float, guys. And uh, we'll fit, we'll fit, we'll fish the rest of the evening away. Uh, stay with us. Don't go nowhere. Thank you guys for watching. Cross the creek. Thank you guys for getting after it. Mm. Talking dog home. Guys, change of plans. We're going to send down this uh, shell cracker head along with this whole bass. We're going to put the whole bass on the top side here. We're going to put him down on the stinger rig on this float. And uh, we're not wasting no time with no chicken, no chicken liver, nothing like that today. We're after one thing and one thing only. I'm talking about, let's go a little whisker lip ripping. All right, guys, there's the shell cracker there, and just above them here is the bass. And uh, we've got this thing on pretty and pink today. Uh, I'm, I'm second guessing myself a lot when it comes to pretty and pink, guys, because uh, she's let me down before. She's let me down before. But I will say, as we say on the channel, guys, everybody's worth a second chance. Everybody's got a pass. Let's send her out there. Guys, we out here like slab life. And uh I got I got old ultra light out here. And I threw me a small piece of cricket on here. And uh I thought I was gonna get me a slab, but y'all, this don't feel like no slab. That's what I thought. I got blasted it. One of them fish with the whiskers on them, y'all. Can't fish days. One of them got blasted fish with the whiskers with the whiskers on them. That ain't what we after today. Uh, Maybe we can land this guy. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Here he is, guy. And uh, he says uh, he don't really care what we're after. Uh, small, small fish. There he is right here, guy. It don't look like he want to say much to you, really. He says he don't care that we're out here like slab life. He says he's part of the channel, too, and he's going to have his introduction. Let's get him out of here. On to the next one. I believe this fish just realized it was hooked up, y'all. That bass is going down. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. I can tell you right now, he's probably strong. I don't know if he had the sunfish head. I'm sorry, the shell cracker head or the whole bass, I don't know. But Pretty and Pink said she's due for a rematch. She said she told y'all everybody's got a pass. And she said she's putting in her work on this fish. That's, you got to keep it hooked up. Please. Keep them hooked up. Let's see what he hit. The people, oh, it looks like a good one. The people want to know what he hit. Looks like he hit that bass. Looks like he hit the bass there. Here she is. She says, Yes, she likes bass, don't you? <laughs> she says everybody eats a little bass every now and then. Strong fish. Feels like it's got eggs in it, uh. I think I'm gonna put them back. This fish looks like one of those females. It's one of those. Whoop! It didn't like when I said that, did it? Looked like one of them females, that, one of them activists, you know? 
It looks like one of them. Matter of fact, that is what she says. She says her body, her choice. Bye. All right, guys. So that shell cracker head's still there. For this bait, guys, we're going to go with a crappie here. We're going to go with a full-size crappie. Uh, we're going to pitch it out in the same area there. Uh, that fish said, he let me know when I turned him loose, he got a cousin down there that's waiting on a crappie if we got one. So I told him, hold tight. We about to get right after it. Thanks for watching. We're running over because it appears, it appears that an old rod hooked up again. Old Pretty and Pink say, she's, uh, uh, I can't even get it out of the rod holder, folks. Old Pretty and Pink say, she's due for two today. Let's see. There he is. There he is. Let's see what he had. Yeah, he's a decent sized fish. Looks like he may have had the crappie. And uh this fish here, guys, they're they're biting pretty decent tonight. Here off this uh main channel here. And uh I don't know if it's the structure that I'm setting these baits on tonight or what. Or are they just checking in to see yooms? But let's get them up here either way. All right, guys, so there's the fish. All in all, guys, it's been a fun day of fishing today. You guys saw Maria and I get after it all day long, pretty much. Y'all, every day we wake up, we get one more day. We got to be grateful for it. And uh, Maria and I spent our day chasing these guys today. Uh, not much luck. This fish keeps interrupting my commentary. Something you want to say? They already know the journey is the reward. What? Oh. Sound like he said, thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>